So once more, welcome everyone to Ecosystem Development Academy webinar and uh, module two for building for some of the key building blocks. So some of the key topics for today, uh, we go through the, the main building blocks, we focus on uh, the governance aspect, how to consider um, getting uh, some structure around the ecosystem orchestration and development. Uh, we, we look at the cultural aspects, uh, inter building interoperability and interoperability in general, uh, measurements and uh, sustainability for, for long-term uh, development. So just briefly from my background, for those who have, haven't uh, or who joined on the second module, so um, I have a background in uh, serial entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship around uh, innovation and building new ventures globally for, for more than 20 years, as well as uh, business advisory experience uh, over 10 years with high volumes of new uh, innov innovation entrepreneurs as well as ecosystem development in the, in the longer term for local ecosystems and then also for more than five, six years, I think now, around helping ecosystem developments uh, with other ecosystems around the world, as well as then all various types of uh, support function development, uh, funding instrument development and so forth. So a very, uh, uh, the key, key point from here is the holistic aspect from multiple different uh, aspects looking into developing to support innovation entrepreneurship through ecosystem development. And of course, I'm still a currently an active entrepreneur involved with multiple ventures building innovations as, as well. So, uh, but before we start, I, I want to just quickly stop and check if there's any questions that we should uh, take into account more towards leading, leading to uh, the, the materials for module two that may be taken into account when going through the materials. So Oscar, uh, anything from your side or from, from the participants that have, have shared upfront? No, I think that participants are look, expecting to, to start the module. All right, all right. <laughs> so, okay, let's get started. So, um, towards the end of the last module, we, we look at uh, some of the, the key principles of the ecosystem development. So, so these are kind of the fundamental core uh, rules to think about and keep in mind uh, when looking at ecosystem development. Only things that can be understood can be developed, so there is a need for knowledge component and collective knowledge improvement for the ecosystem development activities. Only things that can be measured can be improved, so KPIs, um, key performance indicators uh, and aligning those are very important. Uh, and then only by sharing things and making those visible is there an opportunity for some of the code development to actually become to life and become common. But only if those shared things are actually uh, being worked on uh, together, there is not really working together in practice. But this is the, the way to really bring a, a, a effective way to um, develop that um, way of working together because it's much harder to, to start directly between different processes than it is to looking at the shared things or ch shared challenges that are attaching uh, the, the, the key actors uh, looking to collaborate. <clears throat> so getting things to shared use and then actually using those to benchmark different activities uh, does it materialize from uh, wanting to develop uh, ecosystem into actually 
not only through through the tools, but then also the practical uh, development effort and measuring the outputs to share tools. Uh, does it start to come um, a kind of a com more complete picture? <clears throat> so these are good uh, principles to always have available and keep in mind when when thinking of the different uh, aspects of of uh, multi-stakeholder uh, joint development efforts. So we have multiple uh, areas when developing the, the ecosystem, this, this uh, um, core, con core aspects where um, when we look at the, the building approach, it's not to be looked at this uh, only like one after another, but really to consider uh, each of these on one hand uh, separately, but then most importantly to consider them also collectively. So initially, um, the, once the kind of the ecosystem concept has mater materialized in, in key stakeholders' minds and there's a this multi-stakeholder collaborative uh, effort and willingness and inspiration to go forward, it's already a good thing to start thinking of how do we build some um, um, structures around it, how do we make collectively uh, decisions on what things we should prioritize and whatnot, how can we consider uh, pooling resources and so forth. So governance overall is a key aspect to think of, think about how does that apply uh, over and around those um, shared things and shared assets uh, being both created and, and, and used and further developed. And then uh, of course there, there is uh, the whole culture aspect around um, um, there is a saying to moving from ecosystems to ecosystems, meaning that um, having that um, in inclusive culture and the mindset of contributing towards the ecosystem uh, to benefiting from the ecosystem as such. So not immediately just thinking of, of what do I get from the ecosystem, but more of what I can contribute for the ecosystem and in return, when others do the same, what is the collective benefits that we can achieve uh, from this aspect. So uh, the cultural aspect of, of ecosystem mindset building um, is, a, is, a, is a key piece. Uh, interoperability is, uh, is a core piece from multiple different aspects of considering the, the, the building connectivity or um, building measurability and making things um, click with each other. So, so this goes from connecting uh, different services in the ecosystem from uh, coming from different development phase to connecting to other services on the set, on the following development phase, <coughs> support services, and then also interoperability between the information exchange uh, between those uh, between those services, and then more broadly with the services in the entire eco ecosystem. And then getting into the the measurement part that looks into um, into making sure that there are first and foremost uh, logical measures in place, that there are um, key performance indicators in place that actually give the type of information needed from the development aspect of uh, the various different uh, pieces of the ecosystem. Uh, and most importantly that uh, same functions um, for example, in a support, in a support function, the same functions would be measured with same KPIs uh, for comparability on return of investment, for efficiency of output, and so forth. And uh, and then uh, also that these measurements uh, can carry 
and sustain time. So it's important that in addition to having <coughs> specific support function, uh, specific measures, that they are also ecosystem level uh, collectively used and shared measures that sustain time to make sure that a longer term development aspect can benefit from those measures and, and those um, uh, KPIs in place that don't change uh, while not taking into account that there is also aspect to allow additional KPIs to exist uh, for different functions being uh, needed or new support functions to be implemented and so forth. Uh, so so that, that is to find the right balance and taking into account that each of the measures in place need to contribute to the, to the next level measures. So if there is no connectivity between the, the kind of the, the overall ecosystem output target and then a individual mentoring session or individual uh, accelerator program, that there isn't a logical connection how those activities in the very hands-on level contribute for the output metrics, uh, then that is a very problematic uh, scenario and, and it doesn't uh, bring um, um, logical approaches to develop and measure things in the ecosystem. And then last but not least, uh, uh, a lot of the ecosystem function, functions uh, uh, are being run with uh, either very uh, limited budgets or uh, periodical budgets, as we discussed in the previous module, that there's project-based funding, where there may be funding for three years, where during that time uh, a, a support function as one piece of the ecosystem being developed needs to be uh, planned, it needs to be implemented, resources be acquired, knowledge being acquired, operating the service, measuring the service, uh, trying to get the target results out and then um, uh, the worst case scenario is that the, the last six months goes into winding down the operations uh, if sustainability is not reached uh, for, that, um, for that program to continue. So sustainability in all of the various levels for individual support functions, but even all, most importantly for all of the, the key ecosystem functions like maintaining uh, ecosystem level shared knowledge, um, maintaining the governance uh, structures and so forth. Uh, sustainability by itself is a very important factor uh, to focus on development. And as, as, as mentioned, each of these should be looked at not as independent thing, but as a, with a cross-cutting theme, so that whenever the ecosystem development uh, activities are happening, all of these different aspects are looked at and, uh, and also being developed in parallel uh, but in a cross-cutting way, so that so that those uh, those uh, topics are uh, both uh, being developed independently, but also uh, collectively and holistically in a parallel manner. So it doesn't work to to just develop one of these aspects at a time until getting a more complete picture, but and uh, starting to develop different each aspects of this uh, in parallel and improving them over time. 